Hey everyone, this is Peter again from Yaw VR and today let me do a quick demo of Infuse VR. Now we have had some quick hints on this new software and now we can actually show it in practice. Where is the basic problem here? The basic problem is that when you put on your headset, then you lose control of all of your surroundings and whenever you sit on your desktop, sit in front of your desktop or in a simulator, wherever, uh, you cannot really see where your devices are at because you're in VR. And for this purpose, we have created Infuse VR where you can calibrate the position of your accessories. We have a couple of accessories readily present in the software, but we'll create more uh, popular accessories. We'll replicate them in the software and we'll create generic ones as well so that if you don't find your exact model, you can just put the generic one there either sitting at a simulator or in front of your desktop, it doesn't matter. I will quickly now show you how to calibrate this one. You can see that I'm entering a menu with this button on the right hand side. Now in front of me, I can see uh, one and two, I can switch between them. Let's start with one, it means the joystick, which is right here in VR, but it's actually, yeah, it's somewhere here. Yeah, it's here in front of me in the physical world. Now what I do here is I like clap my clap my index and thumb and then I just move it to the position where my left hand is and you sort of will feel where it's in a good position and I let go of it and then it's like perfect. I mean really I can feel all of all of the buttons, all of the yeah, all of the controls on the joystick are just perfectly in place. Now what I'm going to do now is switch to two, which means the, the throttle, which would be here in, in like virtual reality, but it's somewhere. Yeah. And this is the problem. Like it's here and I don't see it in VR. Now let me do the same stuff again. Okay. Good, and even the knobs are, yeah, a little bit more adjustment needed, sorry, yeah. And now the knobs are good as well, yeah. I can find everything here. And it's not that I've been working with this type of photos for years, but yeah, I can see it. And what is extremely strange, weird, but super good is that you can actually see and feel the movement of this of these virtual devices so it's it's something yeah as i told you it's it's at the same time weird and very good and it certainly adds to the immersion as i will show you in the demo in practice and it's it's like if i were really grabbing this virtual stuff in 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 my headset and in virtual reality and yeah, now you saw that I'm putting the Vartok Hotas in front of me and moving it around, but actually you can do it with a lot of more uh, objects, even your desktop, your keyboard, your mouse, or a beer can if you want to have a beer during game. So it's like really an end to, to so-called VR blindness. I feel that this is groundbreaking and, and you can actually set up your whole world around you in VR in front of your desktop, for example, if you're not using a simulator, and then you will just literally replicate everything light and that you want to use in VR and you will see them, you will feel them, you will know their position, you will know how they move, like with this joystick. I think this is pretty cool. Let's check it in practice. Uh, I can easily grab both the throttle and the joystick. I can see my hands and these controls. Of course, this aircraft uh, does not have these exact same controls uh, as the Vortec, the Thrustmaster Vortec. But I just wanted to show you guys something that we haven't shown so far. And this is a helicopter demo. Left, start, try to take off. Wow, it was a rough one. Yeah, and we don't have all the controls set up here, just the very basic ones, plus the yaw is calibrated to the right side of the throttle, which is, uh, I guess, not correct, but it works, and I can check the motion, and it 
it feels very good. Immersion is like perfect. I mean, the roll, the pitch, and also the yaw movement is pretty good, especially since now we have motion compensation set up, which means that even though I'm rotating and moving all around 3D OF, I'm still st staying in the very center of the of the cockpit, which is good. I mean, if you crawl away from the center, then you can get sick and whatnot. But now with motion motion compensation set up properly, it works well. Now, if if we had more buttons and knobs set up in the game itself, so just software wise, I would easily control these here because I can I can find them. Same for the joystick. And this is pretty amazing, yeah. Okay. You know, for fun, I will just try to land without crashing myself big time, which is, uh, I'm not sure about it, but let's see. But it's still working, so I guess it's okay. I can walk away from it. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this very brief gameplay with the helicopter. We have definitely more to come. Uh, we want to show you more controls. Of course, this was just a basic setup to show you how Infuse VR works with this type of test. But we'll have more helicopter gameplays. And see you in the next video. Take care. Cheers. If you're interested in Infuse VR, interested in seeing the more detailed demo and some more features coming up, or you just have some valuable feedback, or you have a particular uh, accessory where you want us to replicate it for you in Infuse VR, then go to infuseVR.com and subscribe to our email list.